first of all, I would like to thanks for joining us today. It's very important day for us, basically because this is the first webinar of a series of webinars that we are planning to do. And as you know, this NIBM has been operating for the last 53 years. And we do have, I mean, major areas. Major areas, of course, is the business management. And then, of course, computing, design, languages. And we do have several regional campuses. One is in Go main campus, of course, in Columbus 7. I think all of you know about the place as well. There are others, of course, one in Gaul, Mathura, and uh, Kandy. And in fact, uh, we are planning to set up one more in Kandy. It's the National Kandy Innovation Center, which is coming up in Peradeniya. The others in Kurunagala. So Kurunagala campus is the most important campus today, basically because we have set up the CAT, that's we call the Center for Agribusiness and Technology. And one year back, we started this uh, section or the unit, basically because, you know, this uh, Wyambe province or Western, uh, Northwestern province is basically meant for agriculture. So therefore, we thought of having this in the bill of business, we thought of, I mean, doing agriculture business as well. And uh, we train nearly 10,000 students annually in different fields, and 50% uh, of them are nearly 50% of them are professionals. Others, of course, school leavers in different disciplines. So we thought of, I mean, it's high time for us to talk about organic agriculture, basically because the government has taken a policy decisions to promote organic agriculture, and at the same time. We have set up our facility in uh, Kurunagala campus to promote the agriculture business. So we thought of it's high time for us to start the academic programs in the field of organic agriculture, basically because we don't have much facilities in Sri Lanka for our people to follow organic agriculture courses. If you looked at the industry today, I would like to talk about the world of organic agriculture, how things are taking place. I think most of you know those who are really interested in this subject. You should uh, probably you know about these statistics, but things will help you to understand how I mean organic agriculture is becoming more and more important for all of us. If you looked at the global market size for organic agriculture products, is US dollars 103 billion in 2021. And it is growing fast 8.4% and our market size is 0 0.02 in Sri Lanka. So it's high time for us to I mean, start educating the public in general, as well as our farmers and other those who are really interested in moving into the field of organic agribusiness. We thought of, uh, I call all, all of them organic lovers and we need to, I mean, talk about academic aspect and the professionalism in the field of organic agriculture. So that's how we started this. If you looked at the number of uh, countries that they produce organic uh, products, 187, and number of hectares, 72.3 million, and uh, out of 5 billion, the agriculture lands we call it normally farming land and uh, number of farmers 3.5 million out of 570 million in the world and they are engaging organic agriculture and organic farmland is nearly 1.5 percent of the land of agriculture based lands and as you know this most of the countries specifically this 50 percent of this organic farming is now in australia and New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and, and similar countries. And 23% uh, from Europe and 6% from Asia, and highest is in India. So you would like, hope do you'd like to I mean, see what is the situation in organic agriculture in Sri Lanka. In fact, we don't have data as such. So I thought of I mean, giving 2017 data, which will help you to understand the basic picture of what's really happening in Sri Lanka. The number of hectares that we grow 
in 2000 and at the end of 2017 is 165,000 out of 2.3 million of agricultural land in Sri Lanka, which is 7%. And if you looked at the whole world, the world scenario, and we are much better because now we are in the process of farming growing the organic agriculture business in Sri Lanka in terms of lands. The number of organic farmers, of course, 8,700 out of 2 million farmers of the country. As you know, 80% of them possess less than 2 hectares because our country is basically meant for a small farming, uh, small scale level farming, and uh, most of them are having nearly 5 acres life. The number of organic processes in Sri Lanka is 22-24, and num number of organic exporters, certified exporters, 311. The total volume of egg export in 2018, 44,300 tons. The total value of export is 259 million euros. I think you can understand the global picture as well as Sri Lankan picture that will help you to understand the potential and the capacity that we have to engage, that you have to improve in the in the field of organic industry. Since uh, NIBM is uh, in the field of, I mean, developing professionals and uh, knowledge entrepreneurs in the country. I would like to talk about these top careers in the organic industry, basically because we have seen in the country last uh, few, I mean, months also, we are debating about organic and inorganic, which is not our business. Of course, as you know, this uh, organic is a unique body of knowledge which is coming up through, which is, I mean, you can see in most of the countries in the world. And uh, so, therefore, I would like to talk about the organic industry in Sri Lanka. And the main stream is inorganic agriculture, which is, a, uh, which is true. And uh, our thinking is that we should talk about organic industry and how we are going to promote this. The basic reason is very clear. Even if you ask from the people who are really expert in inorganic agriculture, they would say that organic is the best for our health and the safety and the protection of our environment. So all of us as human beings in the in this world, we would love to protect our environment and we would like to see that we are, uh, we are looking for healthy and safety people. So therefore, there's no questions from that point of view to promote organic agriculture in Sri Lanka. So therefore, NIBM decided to develop the professionalism in the field of organic agriculture by offering a certificate certifications. So the differences of the certification, I would like to admit that fact that it is very important that uh, we need to, I mean, develop a program which is internationally accredited and internationally accepted. So that's the reason as why we are doing a six month course. And with the right credit value, which is accepted all over the world. And uh, at the same time, what we do is we do practical aspect also after completing this course so that uh, the all the I mean, people who have gone through this process or the learners and organic lovers, those who have gone through this process can start practicing this and then we will certify them as a certified organic agribusiness practitioners in the country so that they would be able to find jobs here in Sri Lanka, as well as all over the world. So that's the purpose of, I mean, doing this seminar, just to introduce our course, how it goes, how it helps you to, I mean, improve your knowledge in the field of organic agriculture, so farming. So you will see this, uh, most of us are talking about, I mean, farming and different things, but we want to develop people here in Sri Lanka and educate them with the right skills for them to find better jobs in the world. So some of the jobs I would like to, I mean, you can see, I don't want to talk about this, but certified food producers, practitioners that we will do at the top and from NIBM from uh, September onwards and the organic agriculture instructors. And you can, I mean, they will help I mean, all the other farmers and organic quality assurance executive because quality is the most important thing in producing organic agriculture in our country. And I don't want to tell you 
this uh, is not easy for us to I mean, come out with the better organic products. So we will help our learners to get the right knowledge from the real experts in the country to produce quality organic products so that they will be able to export and improve the value of them. Proportionally, they can improve their value as well as as a product wise, we can add value and have a better price and we can bring in real foreign exchange for the country. So organic uh, restaurant you find and people who are supporting them, organic chef and agriculture managers and uh, organic niche retailers because it's, uh, having a retail is not easy, but you need to understand the fact that there's a process from the farm to the end user. We are talking about the total supply chain. So therefore we should be able to manage in such a way that they will get the right taste of organic agriculture. Organic food scientists, organic certifying agents, and likewise, and landscaping and all that, these are most important areas that we can work on. As I told you, this is very important for us to understand that uh, what is the meaning of this organic agriculture? It's a really a production system. I think uh, all of you heard about there are different type of production system. In manufacturing, you find there's a conventional manufacturing systems. And the other production system, of course, you know, conventionally started from, I mean, 100 years back. And uh, of course, I mean, 30 years back, like, and in Japan, they find the lean management system or lean production system, which is one of the best in the world today. And my PhD is also on lean production. It means the doing more with less resources. So that is a different type of farming production system, and it has gone through the whole world and uh, Jack Womack, he wrote a book on this lean production system. He is called it's a lean management system and lean thinking. So similarly, you can see this our mainstream. If you take the medicine, you find Ayurvedic medicine, which is uh, which is also a real body of knowledge, which is not uh, I mean really done here in Sri Lanka. But it, if you take the case of India, now 70% of the population they use Ayurvedic as well as Western. Western is the mainstream like in agriculture, the inorganic agriculture. And uh, these are, I mean, different type of I mean, production systems that are coming up in different fields. So therefore, organic is a unique production system which we need to learn professionally and get the real qualifications so that the world as well as in Sri Lanka also pe people start believing in this. So as you know, it's a unique body of knowledge. It's an ecological production management system, I told you. And they are the great lovers of the green and the biodiversity, biological cycles and the soil health of the soil, which is very important. And if you don't maintain properly the soil health of soils and the animals, then of course we, would be, we, we won't be able to I mean, survive and have better. I mean, climatic conditions and various system. I'm not going to talk about those things today, but just to introduce. Now, why we are thinking about this organic agriculture is importance of organic farming has increased due to this environmental friendly because the whole world is talking about the sustainable development and what are the methods that we can apply to I mean, protect the environment so that the human beings are also well protected in the years to come. And at the same time, we need to make sure that the consumer awareness, awareness is coming up. And here in Sri Lanka also, now there is a tendency of uh, our consumers and the pressure, pressure is coming up for go for health and safety foods. And this is very common in Europe and uh, USA and all the other developed countries. So that's the reason as to why we thought of I mean, having this program to educate our uh, learners in the field of organic agriculture. And uh, we must remember the fact that this organic agriculture is a science that demands creating new knowledge. We need to do lots of research in the years to come and to make go for innovations, different type of technologies that we can introduce because people don't want to I mean, go through a rigorous process nowadays and to go for organic agriculture. We need to develop some smart technologies so that they would be able to practice specifically our Gen, Gen C or the youth group. They are youth. They are looking for smart jobs and at the same time they need the technology. And they need to I mean, make use of, I mean, right. The scientific nature of explanation is very important. 
So I don't want to tell you this here in Sri Lanka. If you take the case of Ayurvedic medicine, we have not time in scientifically we explain properly for the information of our people and the users. So therefore, we need to I mean go go on these areas so that uh, we are planning to I mean develop the research base in the center of agribusiness and technology in Corona Galapagos uh, campus in the years to come. Finally, I would like to touch upon the most important thing that is the organic lifestyle. That's a new way of life. And we would like to I mean, go for this. And if you ask from anybody that you would like to have I mean, healthy food, and everybody will accept. And at the same time, it's become a lifestyle of people. So since last few years, organic lifestyle has gradually started grow, gaining the real prominence in the world. And people have started uh, attention, nutrition content and the quality of food they eat. And the increased consumption of indigenous food will not only strengthen your immunity, but also the local economy because we can bring a lot of farming for exchange. And at the same time, it will build up the immunity. I'm not going to talk about the science of this, but all of you know about this. So that will help us to, I mean, get this uh, business in the right directions. And the next one is green thinking and doing uh, doing and uh, right timing becoming the right lifestyle of people in developed countries, which is uh, also important. And uh, there is a tendency and there is a thinking that we need to protect the environment. And so sustainability, all these subjects are coming up. So it's high time for us to I mean, protect our environment and help people to get the best food products so that they would be you will be able to find that we have a lean, healthy society. Just to I mean, give you, I mean, we are talking about now uh, making food products, agriculture products and various things, but organic uh, thinking is different. So if you want to have your home garden, of course, you better go for organic so that you have you can have healthy food products. And if you want to, I mean, design your organic farm design, we need to do it properly so that you will get the real meaning of this. And uh, you will find uh, some of the farms that here in Sri Lanka also is not properly designed and scientifically not designed so that they find a lot of issues. So we need to avoid this and we need to go for this. And uh, if you are building your house, maybe probably and all of us are, I mean, we would like to have our home nicely. That is the place where, I could, where you can have the best time. So then, of course, we need to have, I mean, design your house organically. And if you want to have, I mean, if you are going for business, if you go for, I mean, organic food restaurant, of course, there's a huge chance of, I mean, winning the minds of people, basically, because we would like to have a nice environment when you go for an environment at the same time, healthy foods. And if you go for, I mean, hotel industry, if you, if you, I mean, here in Sri Lanka also, we do have some hotels, but it's not purely designed based on organic thinking. So it's high time for us to, I mean, go for green hotels because in tourism industry is very much important for us and bringing a lot of foreign exchange as well as we can give a better place for people to live. So finally, it's uh, organic landscaping design. You can just by looking at these pictures and it's, it makes you happy. It's basically because it's the organic nature and the green thinking and the organic thinking. So green thinking is very important for us to, I mean, protect the environment, the people of the future. But organic thinking is very important for us to build up the healthy lifestyle for our people. So with that, I would, uh, stop my presentation just to I mean give you the real taste of this organic agriculture and what we are planning to do the one we have I mean three experts here of course two experts and one of our consultant also and Mr. Tilak Karya Vasam he is the I mean uh, president of this org Lanka organic agriculture movement and Mr. Atula is the secretary of the same movement I would like to have a few words about them. Mr. Tilak Karyavasan is one of the experts in the field of organic agriculture, and uh, he has done a lot of things in the field of agriculture. I don't think that we need to introduce him. Everybody knows in the country. 
So he is the one who is supporting us to, I mean, developing our curriculum as well. And we have, I mean, uh, get the support of a large number of experts. And uh, Mr. Atula is the secretary and he has been in the field of agriculture, organic agriculture for, I think, nearly 20 years. He has a lot of experience, practical experience. And uh, Nimesika, of course, is our resource uh, from our NIBM. And she is the one of our consultants in the field of agribusiness. And uh, she is the one who is supporting all our learners when they join the course. He is, she is the course director and she is very important for all of you when you join the course because you need to deal with her in the future. So I'd like to start with Mr. Tilak Karyavasam. I think he will give the theoretical, I mean conceptual aspect of this organic agriculture in this forum. And uh, Mr. Atula Priyanta will give the practical experience so that it's the right combination for us to get to know about what is the organic agriculture, how it affects our life, how it affects our business, how we will move forward. So I would like to invite Mr. Tilak Karyason to take the forum. Uh, I am uh, uh, the good evening for everybody. I'm uh, kind of where I was sitting at uh, uh, the one of the uh, the mountain in the uh, next to the Lunugala side of the Bibila. Uh, yeah. It is nice to uh, talking to you people. Nimeshika, I have sent you the my presentation. If you can uh, put it it uh, in a in a way, it would be nice. Uh, if not, uh, even I can use uh, my. Uh, uh, I can show my nice face to you all because uh, the since uh, this is a very remote area, it's okay, it's okay. I don't have uh, I don't have a sufficient uh, uh, the coverage here. But uh, I will try my best to explain about how uh, the organic agriculture could be. Uh, the uh, driving force in the future in the agriculture in Sri Lanka. There are so Mr. many. Pilak, you can use uh, both the avenues as well as single, eh? because maybe some are interested right. in. Like, we can mix. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do it. Uh, uh, the when you, when we talk about definition of organic agriculture, as uh, rightly uh, DG has mentioned it. Organic agriculture is a production system that sustain health of soil ecosystem and the people based on ecological processes, uh, biodiversity and skill adapted to Nikang Hitu Langawe Padatiatam Kushikarmika Kramaway, the Hatiata may appe Yamaka raking soa bellot, a pace of Sau of Panshu Sauke, Itama Gamburu with it a Vigrahakala bellot, Adape Panshu Sauke, Itama Naraka Tanakatiene, Mokada, Pasa Soda Yamanisat, Digindigata, Api Pavichikarapu, Vivid Kushikarmika Yedum Nisat. Ape Pase Saukia Etaram Honda Tatu Ekatana Ekamai Pasava Gemu Ape Parisari Paddati Ekama Ape Minisunge Saukat Eha Samanam Visheshem Parisara Paddati Saha Minisun Nehivasa Ekana Satun Ekama Apigatahama Api Ganu de Nukarana, Kushikar Miki and Hati Api Pradana Vashin, Ganu de Nukarana Pe Pasa, Ekama Mema Sialakma Pavatini Parisarika Pravanatavayan, Emanatam Parisarika Vashin Sidavana, Vivid the Cycles, Emanatam Vivid the Chakra Nose, Etakotapi Ekedi Vitama. Uh, whether got to know up at a carbon chakra, jala chakra, nitrogen chakra, Hamadia diha mapi beluham, up at a mevae di tama, whether got to an angiak tamai, biodiversity, himanatan jaiva vida. Then jaiva vida to a piganu de nukarna vivid shestra and diha beluham, Edineda api parsarika padati, rakaganimata, 
අපි කරන මෙහෙය කෘෂි කර්මයේදී අපි නොදැනුවත්තම අපි ඇත්තෙන් විනාශ වෙන ජෛව විවිධත්වය ඊට අවශ්‍යයි. උදාහරණයක් හැටියට ගත්තොත් අපි දිගින් දිගට පසට විවිධ රසායනික යම් යම් යදුම් පාවිච්චි කරාම අපි ඒ දාන පසේ පස් අංශ පස් අල් අත්ලක් ගත්තොත් එහෙම ඒ පස් පස් අත්ලයි අපේ උදාහරණයක් හැටියට මෙහි දැන් මට පස්සේ මේක ගැන කතා කරන්න යන අතුල ප්‍රියන්ත මහත්මයාගේ ගොයිපලේ පස් අත්ලකුයි ගත්තොත් ඒ දෙකේ ජීවත් වෙන ශුද්‍ර ජීවීන්ගේ තත්ත්වයේ තුලින්ම ඔබට පැහැදිලි කරගන්න පුළුවන් මේ දෙකේ තියෙන වෙනස මේ වගේමයි මේ කාබනික කෘෂි කර්මය කියන්නේ ඒක ට්‍රැඩිෂනල් සිස්ටම් එකක් විතරක් නෙමෙයි සමහරු හිතනවා මේ කාබනික ගොවිතැන කියන්නේ මේ ට්‍රැඩිෂනල් ඇග්‍රිකල්චර් කියලා නෑ එතනින් එහාට ගිහිපු එහෙම නැත්නම් අපි කියනවා we are maintaining some of the traditions but it is innovation innovative approaches api nirmanashili navyatawen yutu dewal me govitanat ekka ekkasu karagannawa visheshayenma meka science ekak meka meka vidyawa samaharu mekata chodana karanna puluwang vividha dewal kiyala namuth api wata wada meke gamburin vigraha karanna ona meka science ekak ehema naththam vidyawa e vidyawa tulin පාරිසරික වශයෙන් ලැබෙන ප්‍රතිලාභ මෙන්ම මිනිසුන්ගේ මිනිසුන් වෙන්න පුළුවන් සතුන් වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒවා අතර හොඳ කම්බිනේෂන් එක නම් එහෙම නැත්නම් පෙයා රිලේෂන්ෂිප් එකක් මේක තුල පවත්වාගෙන යන්න අපි උත්සාහ කරනවා ඒ වගේමයි සතුන්ගේ වගේම ඒක ආශ්‍රිතව ගොයිපල ආශ්‍රිතව ජීවත් වෙන සතුන්ගේ මෙන්ම ගොවිතල ගොයිපලට යන එන සතුන්ගේ මෙන්ම විශේෂයෙන්ම ගොවිපලේ කටයුතු කරන සේවකයන්ගේ මෙන්ම ගොවිපල අයිතිකරුවන්ගේ ජීවන තත්ත්වය උසස් කර ගැනීම සඳහා අවශ්‍ය වෙන ගුඩ් ක්වොලිටි ඔෆ් ලයිෆ් මේක තුලින් ඇති වෙනවා. ඉතින් මේක තමයි ඊටම වැදගත් කාරණාව කාබනික කෘෂි කර්මයේදී. එතකොට අපි මේකේ තව ප්‍රින්සිපල්ස් හතරක් ගැන කතා කරන්න මොකද්ද මේ ප්‍රින්සිපල් හතර? There are four principles in organic agriculture. First one is the the principle of health. Uh, the next one is the the principle of ecology. The third one is the principle of fairness. Fourth one is the the principle of care. These four principles are working uh, with the the present day uh, the we are experiencing some of the problems with the the modern agriculture it having these four principles of the organic agriculture having solution to the the present day agriculture what we are uh, the experiencing with the different problems the api gattot mehi palaweni moola dharmaya hatiyata api salakanne kaabanika govitane api mulin kiyuwa widiyata apita principles ehema naththam moola moola dharma hatarak thiyena කාබනික ගොවිතැන යටතේ ඒ මූල ධර්මයේ හතරේ මූලිකම එක තමයි principles of health කියන එක එහෙම නැත්නම් අපි කියන පළවෙනි මූල ධර්මයේ තමයි සෞඛ්‍ය පිළිබඳව මූල ධර්මය අර මං කලින් කිව්වා වගේ පසේ සෞඛ්‍ය සතුන්ගේ සෞඛ්‍ය වගේම ඒ ගොවිපලේ අයිතිකරුවන්ගේ වැඩ කරන හා සියලු දෙනාගේ සෞඛ්‍ය විතරක් නෙමෙයි ඒ කාබනික නිෂ්පාදනය ගොයිපල විසින් හෝ කර්මාන්ත ශාලාව විසින් නිපදවන ආහාර වෙන්න පුළුවන් එළවලු පළතුරු වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ සියල්ලේ පරිභෝජනය කරන සියලු දෙනාට ඒක තුල සෞඛ්‍ය ආරක්ෂිත භාවය මේක තුල කතා කරනවා ඒක තමයි දෙවනි එක අපි කතා කරන්නේ ප්‍රින්සිපල් ඔෆ් ඉකොලොජි පරිසර පිළිබඳ මූල ධර්මය 
परिसर मूल धर्म पारिशरिक प्रतिलाभ पिल बंद कथा कर मम कम अवसान दिख गण कथा कर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पेन साधन पिल मूल धर्म काबनिक गोतनेम वेद मुखद දැන් ලෝකයේ කාබනික ගොවිතනත් එක්ක බැඳිලා තියෙන තවත් ක්‍රමවේද කීපයක් තියෙනවා උදාහරණයක් හැටියට ගොවියා විසින් මේක නිපදවනවා වගේම අනිත් පැත්තෙන් තියෙනවා පරිභෝගිකයාගේ යුතුයකමකුත් තියෙනවා ගොවියා රැක බලා ගැනීම සඳහා එතකොට ගොවියා වෙනුවෙන් සාධාරණයක් ඉටු කිරීම සඳහා ඒ ගොවියා වෙනුවෙන් කරන සාධාරණය මේක තුල හැදෙන්නේ විශේෂයෙන්ම ඒ ගොවියා මේ Taman හදන නිෂ්පාදනය खान पुद्गल गुणात्मक यूरोपेलाकोपुर सूपर मार्केट की मिल दी गोट प्रोविया मुदल गोविया जीवन तत्व आरक्षा यूरोपे गोवीन गोविया महंसी नाट हो गए साधारण महंसी लेकिनिंग गोविपले मे पारिशरिक तत्व वगेम अरक हितवादी विधियट सियलु सतुन सियलु सेवकैन हर विधियट आरक्षा कि मई मेकतु अतम सा कच्चा ये वगेम अभी देक विस्तर करो अभी दंड दयाक्तम ओब ट इगन गुलवांग्तम मे कथावतु कहमद मेवा हर विधियट इवलुवेट कर हाउ यू कैन मेश whether they are uh, fulfilling pianus principles how can they uh, the, we can see uh, the the different uh, caring principles there is a certification system with the organic agriculture it's uh, ensuring how you are uh, fulfilling pianus principle how you are fulfilling uh, the caring principles with these different uh, factors a question during the cycle of production a chain of custody there are system to evaluate different uh, uh, the 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 pianus principle i o the caring principles uh, the it's also giving the different uh, uh, the culture to the farmers where they can uh, uh, um, enjoying uh, the different important product uh, 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 and services provided by uh, the different organic farmers this giving a kind of theoretical perspective uh, to you how you can learn different uh, the method of uh, within the organic agriculture there are different uh, the farming system as well the if you uh, uh, check with the organic agriculture worldwide there are different engagement like uh, some people are talking about uh, the uh, agro ecology some people are talking about organic agriculture some people also talking about uh, 
uh, the biodynamic agriculture. Some people are talking about eco agriculture and then there are regenerative agriculture. There are some other things like uh, uh, permaculture, different farming systems, the uh, according to the different uh, Mr. The Tila, can I, Mr. Tila, can I disturb you? Yeah. Tila, uh, my question is why this organic agriculture is limited to, I mean, uh, organic just farming and because it's a, we do have a variety of aspects of this organic agriculture in, Sila, in the world. But in, yeah. in Sri Lanka, we are focusing only on, I mean, agriculture aspects. Not, not the, really. The, uh, uh, yes. You are correct, sir. The, as you said, there because are my lot of knowledge is also limited. And if you can elaborate on this product, wedding again, a katakara and honda, you have to be one of the areas the TNA may may food production. Nick error. Oh, uh, at the time, then got the hammer, uh, loke hammer tanama, then would the harnacate organic cotton thin organic cotton, then India, uh, may appi andina and duma. Uh, Samahara allergies, uh, Tina Aya, Visheshem preferences, Swaltiana, organic cotton oil. Evagema in other loke, organic cotton market, take it out, Vishala market teka. A e, 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 akare tema, uh, then ape rate, Nipadavanawa, um, uh, uh, Kidinik Dana the Dane, uh, companies deka make it engage you Latino, Visheshem America, we may when a cotta, Loku Illuma Cavil Latino. Organic rubber wallet. Ekat a hey to chemical forming uh karanakota visheshema rubber e uh asrito hadana metros wageva e nidana kota dirga kalayak uh America we wide vidyat maka soyagani maktino my back pain wallet a hey to vishal washin chemical pavi chicken nekame rubber forming wallet. It what uh America we well and the pole illima cavilatino. Organic rubber world, organic mattresses and pillows world. The other thing is that the chain is a sample of mattresses. The other thing is that the bed cover, bed sheet, pillow cover, pillow, uh, hammer, uh, organic uh, management. The other thing is organic cotton, organic rubber, current industry, the other thing is that 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 the other loke itama uh, Janapriya vena then ape Lankaving Vishala washing organic uh, uh, virgin coconut oil lana uh, Peter at all old. The me pol ganang yama take hetu kutulati natana me Vishala washing ape uh, nishpadana volatati and illuma loke bohor at all lola uh, eka e hetu elati no uh, visheshenma me carbonic goitana hilayan. Uh, mama make a uh, gana uh, ekapatakin kiano wagame make 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 a thick a bandilatino then udaharna kati to gatut apime edineda ganu denukarna wagawa with rakneme processing uh, uh, product teka kati to api elite dana kota uh, product processing then api uh, the we have a uh, organic standard which uh, uh, 1324. SLS 1324. Apita Lanka we carbonic Prometiak, you know, I got a kino at the Sunsi Visiatera, Sri Lanka Prometia at the name again, Prakashate Patkarapu. Eka Handur Nani, carbonic Nishpadena Sakasima Saha, Wagakiri Masa Sakasima Kin. It got a Prometia. Hadana Nishpadena, Eva Nimiba and the Hatia Patkala, Lanka wing. Boho Durata Ape DG Mahatma Q Ava Gamer, Rutting Elliot Anoa, make at the Tama Dani Bohomatika the Nikwitera. Mevani Vishala Pulul, Sestra Pilibando Tama, Obeigan Ganean, a Ganean. It's a delight, Api Halatina, organic animal husband, again, Api organic chicken Hadana, then Api Gavala Latina Loku Pastani. Lamai Kamil, they want to eat chickens, but most of the parents they don't like to give them. Yeah, there are many reasons. I don't know the scientific things behind this, but generally it's a problem for us. Yeah, so actually, as you animal husband again, a product katakara and a hundred. Yeah, as you correctly said, there are organic animal husbandry, 
the there are standard uh, which publish in the same uh, the the standard what uh, I have mentioned and there are few farms in the country. They are producing organic chicken and there are some uh, the uh, the uh, other animal products like uh, cheese and uh, butter and some other things and which are under the organic operation. There are separate uh, requirement for these things. Uh, just uh, uh, I can give a, one example. When you uh, today when you are uh, taking chickens, their lifetime only 26 uh, to uh, the, some people are taking from 23 to uh, 45 days. But most of the things it's less than 30 days because of the the, the feed cost and all other things. They are uh, going for uh, early uh, uh, the killings. Uh, there are uh, the requirement to organic. The, the, they can't slaughter the, the chi uh, chicken before 80 days. There are requirements. And again, you can't feed with the, any kind of artificial uh, different uh, the antibiotics or any other uh, the, the feed. The, they have to produce themselves according to the, uh, the different guideline given by the certification body or the standard. And with Lankawe, uh, the uh, 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 Satu pagane, itama hunding, carbonic tattering, paragane, yano, may venomita, evatat, venom, avashata ventino, standard Prometheen Sakasula Tino, it may Prometheen Sakas Volta Nu, Lankawe, Wagema, Locatian, standard Volta Galapeno with the Tamai Sri Lankawe, Prometheen Sakasula Tine, Eanu, Lankawe, Goipolval Kipia, carbonic. Uh, uh, may, uh, 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 the apic uh, 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 chicken, uh, uh, organic chickens, you know, then a killer summoning ready, summoning the gunaka to with the asanai. Namut eke ati thermometer requirement take a take a sapiana berita to at the no, he make a sampuna under organic management take a yatatama eke kerini. Meveni Anikut Satun Pilibando. Ekama the Visheshin Matakra no no butuman latter Apita Tieno, Carbonico, Kerma de Atate, management hotels. May then got to Apidano, Habernatino, Lankawe Pradana, Hotel Chain Ekataiti, a hotel act, Eke Venema, Carbonica Ahara, Sapeno, Itamatro Yapanetino. Oh, but a basket take a kude taragana, uh, uh, podi walking a canapulong akara da hatraka palm maker, Gihama, a bucket take, while at the puluang, uh, tamanta kamati, yellow lu aragana villa, uh, egolang a common kitchen nekatino, kitchen nekalawa, hadoga. It may wagi, pulul paraseka, loke anitan eka experience labana puluang, ita vishale, uh, may agri business eka make a tulatian. The maker up in Never do Thank you, Mr. Tilak. I think uh, now is the time to I mean, talk about the experience of Mr. Atula Priyanta, and he's a real doer in the field of uh, organic uh, agriculture. Thank you very much, Mr. Tilak Kariosam. I think there is an interruption. Uh, then, uh, Mr. Atula Kiana, why you join? Why you thought of I mean, having this? Uh, uh, organic agriculture as your profession and uh, how things are happening now. OK, uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, DHG. I think this is a marvelous opportunity, golden opportunity for the Sri Lankan who are now with the organic sector who working in the last 30 to 80 years in this sector. This will be the turning point for Sri Lanka because you know that we didn't have a chance to learn in Albany. Most of the things uh, we learn by doing and uh, practicing, doing and doing mistakes, uh, likewise uh, we learn in Albany, but we didn't have a proper place to learn. Uh, though we have, we didn't have a proper proper methodical way to learn. So therefore I think we must thank NIBM to start this kind of uh, 
training program which cover the all the uh, area by uh, getting support from the all the expert in Sri Lanka, not only Sri Lanka, even from the outside. So therefore, first of all, I would like to thank the NIBM and the team. And we started uh, in a real time, though we talking these things in last uh, 10, five day, years about this course. Now we uh, start this uh, in very good time. So uh, uh, telling that uh, I would like to share my screen. So uh, I think uh, I am so happy uh, uh, that uh, our uh, DG uh, uh, explained very well uh, about uh, the background of the organic uh, sector, uh, not only Sri Lanka, but also all over the world. So this is a very good sign this kind of uh, knowledge base in our high rank people who, who are leaders in our country, especially for the training and education. So we are so happy that uh, the, the, any people want to know about the organic agriculture. If they are interesting, they can learn. Uh, that is how we also learn. So therefore, first of all, we thank VR for Lanka Organic Agriculture Movement even Intercontinental Network of Organic Farmers Association in the world wide under the IFORM. Uh, so we use this uh, valuable opportunity to share our experience and uh, get the knowledge base with the other experts who are in Sri Lanka and other country. So uh, I start my uh, sharing speaking uh, experience uh, from my livelihood because I am a farmer from when I can learn, uh, when I uh, work, when I walk, I was a farmer up to uh, now. But I changed my farming uh, methodology after 1995. Uh, there is a main reason why I have changed because I work with my uh, family members, with farmers who live in my village. So you can see my uh, photograph at uh, 15 years age and now. So uh, that's why, why I am showing those things, because the organic agriculture or agroecology can learn very well only by doing, not only talking, not only uh, debating. If you want to learn something, especially in the organic agriculture sector, we have to practice on the ground. Even you are a professor, even you are a managing director of a large company, you should get the practical experience on the ground. That's why I'm proud to say I am a farmer. Still, I am a farmer, though uh, I am in a different uh, level in my occupation. So why I have become an organic farmer? What is the reason? It's go to my childhood experience. Uh, as you know, uh, sorry, uh, I lost my connection. Okay, okay sorry. Okay, sorry. You. So yes. can you see my screen? Uh, yes. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, you can. Uh, OK, OK, ahead. right. So I born in Bandaraval area, which is in middle of the country. So where my organization is there. Uh, you know, when we talk about the Bandaraval, that is the very good climatic condition in Sri, La Sri Lanka. I think that is the fourth phase of in the world where we want to live. So uh, I am so happy to tell that I am so fortunate to be there. But when I was a childhood, there are a lot of good environment. We had a lot of water around our house, even our paddy fields, everywhere. Literally, we had a water. So we had very good agriculture. Uh, once we get the uh, modern technology with pesticide and fungicide, even the fertilizer in 1970s, farmers got a lot of income, very good harvest. Some farmers got, if they cultivated 
50 kgs of sweet potato they have harvested i can remember 1000 kgs even they harvested uh, bean more than 10 15 times they we had a very good time we had a lot of income uh, out of the that uh, modern technology but but when with the time what happened after 20 years we lost our water which was in uh, surrounding our environment our some streams are dried out at our fatty peel we have to abandon at the same time what happened yield of the agricultural product has been decreased pest attack has been increased so the fertility has been decreased so we could not understand what what happened on the ground but those things are happening in the same time we can't control the pest and disease using available chemical so we know that there is a time time period after the spraying chemical for harvesting that, that called uh, safety time but normally it is 14 days 15 days 10 days but the farmers have to apply if i uh, harvest today itself we have to apply it went to uh, that level so i think what happened uh, we know i learned in university how function the agrochemicals but farmers can't control they have to apply. So we are eating poison. I am so ups, got upset. Then we are thinking first the feeling how we lost the water. So then I met Dr. Anin Saranayaka is the system ecologist. He came to the, my village. Then he explained when we should have a water in the mountain, there should be a forest cover. Then the rain is coming. It is absorbed to the ground. Then it will come from the uh, our paddy fields or streams. Then um, Therefore, our ancient people use our land, not only the agriculture, whole land use has been used wisely, conserving environment, conserving soil, water, and microclimate and biodiversity. They practice. There was like that here in earlier, our mountain, which is a natural forest, then our home garden, after that paddy field. This kind of land use helped to have a sustained our agricultural system as well as the environment. But what happened to this system with the time? That has been changed. Earlier, this uh, mountain has been uh, used for tea and rubber cultivation, tea uh, cult and coffee cultivation. Some are abundant, then it become a Patana grassland, then forest department planted eucalyptus and pinus. Up there, then there are some home garden, not like that. In tea cultivation was there. They are using agrochemicals. Same time, some home garden there, not like earlier. Uh, they are using agrochemicals. In there are some upland also, lot of uh, vegetable cultivation. They are using lot of agrochemicals. Even in the fairy fields, they used to cook uh, vegetables. Then they have to drainage out the thing. Then I identify our agriculture and our forest system has been destroyed our environment. So then we have to change these, uh, uh, our land use. So, but we didn't have a knowledge how to do that because we learn in the different technologies. So fortunately I met Dr. Senanayaka. Then in 1990, we tried to do a practice. We tried to implement agroforestry projects where I was specialized to solve this problem uh, to get the experience. We developed two models in Maho and uh, Valley Murder. Unfortunately, I don't have a, some photos to show in Maho, uh, so Bandara Valley, Valley Murder area, but I show how we developed this agroforestry project in uh, Maho area, that dry zone. We, we did with National Cooperative Council and some uh, primary society societies where we did it in, in China cultivated area where they cultivate continuously we planted trees this photos uh, uh, was taken 1991 then we intercrop as we have principle we have to uh, intercrop we have to mix we have to conserve the biodiversity we did uh, like that this is uh, after one year this is after two years, but this is not the same land. So what happened to the, that land with the time? 
I'll show the uh, different uh, stage of that land, how it was developed in a chain of cultivated area, that agroforestry project. So in, accidentally in 1997, I joined to Lanka Organics uh, Private Limited. That company was developed by Dr. Anin Senanayaka because he believed that if we give the market value for the organic uh, sector, then only the farmers willing to do that. Therefore, he started this company as a very small company with our uh, very famous uh, businessman called Mr. Mutusami. Then I uh, joined as a extension officer that village. Then I selected this project to certify this garden. Then we have certified this garden with the National Association of Sustainable Agriculture in 1997. Then their income was 50,000, 2005, but it has been increased to 2,500 uh, uh, to that uh, income because this land has been developed very well. Though it is in the dry zone, these farmers managed to grow the even paper and the uh, cinnamon also because this system has been changed the microclimate not only the giving the uh, income it has been changed the microclimate which is suitable for the growing other crop which cannot be grown in those area because of the, this farming system so you can see how was it is earlier so this is uh, 2019 how it was like even in that climate we managed to go rambutan which can be grown only the wet zone this is uh, we experience how this uh, system this farming system can be used on not only for the getting income even for the improve the microclimate and soil and water conservation and blah 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 we can say a lot of things so this is the different stages i can show unfortunately this is not the same uh, angle because we did know that at that time we can show these things like this so not only that one, even in that village itself, that company start the processing center, even they treated very well with the, for the farmers. Uh, you can see they are the, they are giving um, uh, a prize the who for the best farmer. They they had a very good correlation with the farmers and the company. Then they provided more than 200 people for occupation within the village. And one time this uh, village become the largest uh, cashew exporter. This factory still is running. So this is how it has been developed. But at the moment, we didn't have any idea when it is started. So this is the other good example. This can be practiced on the ground. And even you can see this is the go-to color. We started uh, export to America in 2019-95. Now there's a huge demand one. We managed to grow with the farmers and farmers income has been grown very well. Their lifestyle has been increased and it was published in the international magazine also about this village. So when you come to the large scale uh, farms, so uh, so that is small scale farms uh, so sorry uh, i have a problem with the slide so uh, i have to tell tower another story uh, this is uh, this experience uh, again when i work for the national water supply and drainage board as an environment specialist so we uh, under that project we have dig a uh, lot of uh, uh, wells in Kalpitya Fenicilla to give the water to the people. When we check the water at the beginning, it is acceptable for drinking. When we uh, when we check the water quality after the well, con well construction, or oh, what happened? This water cannot be drink because of the nitrogen pollution. It is more than ten times. Then Dr. Serena I can give another idea. If you plant the tree around the, these uh, uh, trees, you may clean this water. More, most of the people laugh at the beginning, but what happened after the three years of the planting, this water become purified. That means that technology, uh, that technology uh, we are growing, we are using, uh, can be uh, used even this kind of uh, uh, programs also. 
So this is uh, how uh, this garden has been grown very well in Kalpitiya area. Uh, so this, as a research, it, it was given some, uh, win some prizes also internationally for this project. Then when we come to the large scale farms, so this is 40 acre land. So in inorganic farming, we can plan very well at the beginning. The whole total land has to be planned as DG explained. This is the plan we prepare, the base plan, how it was before starting the project. Then this is the how this whole land has been designed with the analog forestry technology. That is the one, one uh, kind of uh, special uh, area of organic farming where we try to create the uh, structure and function of the natural forest using economical valuable species as as well as the ecological valuable species so that model like this ultimately it should be like that then how it was the prepare so you can see when we go for the land preparation in logging farming we are not just destroy everything existing there we always try to use Mr. the existing Mr. soil Mr. 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 Yes. Sorry, you can speed up. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay, right. This is how this land has been grown very well. Uh, so the different stages. Uh, so in the one, this is the one place you can show the different uh, stages. Uh, so this is how it has been grown very well as a mixed cropping in organic farming. So even uh, not only the uh, bare land, even with the coconut cultivation can be intercropped even with the vegetables. It can be done on this, uh, in this technology where we use organic farming. This is also the certified 14 acre land. When, when we come to the Bandaraval area for the vegetable cultivation, then we, we have to think about the whole land use. Earlier in upcountry, uh, we had Pinus and eucalyptus, it has been removed in, in our village. Then people, they didn't allow to grow eucalyptus and pinus. Then they restore this land with the help of the, all the villagers. Even they removed all the uh, invasive plants. Now, uh, then they, they reactivate the existing water sources had earlier. Then only we came to the vegetable cultivation, even they got the green awards also. Then we started the upcountry vegetable cultivation in commercial level as a mixed mix cropping. This is the first time in Sri Lanka we, we did. So this is how the uh, how it like uh, as a mixed cropping where you can see the our speaker went to the, this uh, farm. You can see the how look the uh, organic farm. It is a mixed cropping. Always you can see different different kind of crops. So this is the, uh, this is uh, I show some kind of pictures. Now I show the very special thing. Now we are talking about the soil nutrient management in the organic farming. Now there are huge uh, crisis about how we can supply the uh, nutrient in organic farming if you need to replace with, with the chemical. But it is only the, uh, I think, uh, people have fear. But this is very easy to practice. In, in my farm, we are using some compost and some uh, chicken manure will uh, decompose it only less than 800 kilometer, uh, kilogram per he uh, acre. But you can see how was the soil. pH is very almost uh, similar to the uh, water, only 6.4. Even you can see uh, organic matter contained is very high. Even phosphorus and potassium level is in very high level. So the managing of the soil fertility is not uh, dif difficult. Other thing is a lot of people thinking organic is very really small. No, it is not. It is not. If you practice very well, even uh, we can uh, get more yield than the uh, other, other conventional system. Even the profitability is very important as all the people are explaining. We can make the profit. Even the labor is the main cost of production in organic sector. Uh, 
uh, when we go for the large scale. Small scale it is uh, good for the farmers because their investment, the labor is investment. But finally, I have to tell something. Growing knowledge on organic farming is not enough when you come for the business. We should have a proper planning and monitoring system. Then we should have a good financial management system. Same time, we should have a human resource allocation and management. Then only we can have a successful, profitable organic farm. That's why this course is very important, not only learning what is organic farming, how it's grown. Beyond that, how it process, how can it market, how can it certify, how can prepare a business plan, how it's run as a business. Those are very very important. That's why this course is very important. So thank you. Now uh, I hand over. Uh, yeah, to thank the you very much. Uh, next, yeah, very you uh, gave some insight onto this and uh, the practical situations of farming organic agriculture in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And I hope that all the participants uh, got the idea of I mean, what is really happening in the field of organic farming. And uh, now, uh, in fact, what he said is at the end is very important that uh, we at NIBM, we teach business and how to manage it and make profits out of this and how to add value to your business. So you need to I mean, manage your farm properly, not only managing, you need to design it properly because most of the time, I mean, designing me, Api Karandi Anagatakari, Nirmanim, Api to Costeka Dukaragan Pulva, Nirmanim, Api Product Taker, Onama Deka, Api Loki, then design thinking Yan Yatame, Mulika Paramarte Tamai, Patangam Medi, can we Api plan Karanakotam, Api Farm Megako, Onama Product Takako, Onama Deak, Api Farm Mega, Idalam, end use of the Kam, Api on the value chain Nakat, Nirmanikaran. It is like how the partners like how they manage karandi, how to link up with timing mean, all over the world and exporters. Etika api harir and pahadilagati netang, api to organic agribusiness. So that's the reason as why we thought of I mean, having organic experts as well as I mean business analysts here. And it's a hybrid of I mean these both aspects, as uh, Mr. Uh, Atula uh, Priyanta pointed out correctly at the end. Now is the time to I mean, know about the course. I think our course director is here with us, Ms. Nimesika. And uh, she is the one, of course, she is really committed on this and she did a great job. And with the support of all the experts in the industry, now it is your time to uh, Nimesika to present the course, how it goes, and how do I mean our participants can join and what's the future of it. Thank you very much, Dr. Kulisuri, for the opportunity given. So let me share my presentation. So I'm going to give you a brief introduction about our course. So this is the course we are going to launch by NIBM. It's named as Advanced Certificate Course in Organic Agribusiness Management. And I'm happy to say that this is the first ever course leading to certify organic agribusiness practitioners in Sri Lanka. So more about the course. So this uh, advanced certificate course is offered in both languages, English and Sinhala. So anyone who is participating can join in a batch according to their language preference. And the commencement of this course in this year, September, the duration of the course is one year, where in the first semester, in first six months, we are giving the we are giving lectures and we are giving training. Training uh, that means we are delivering the coursework. Uh, that means uh, the coursework is offered in Sundays, and it will be followed by another semester of field or industry practice. So the total number of credits for the course is 15 yes, credits. If, 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 yes, it is, yes. It's a choice of participants to I mean, go to the practice part. Otherwise, we will issue the certificate after six months of the course. Yes, of course. Uh, after the end, at the end of the six uh, months, so we, yeah. were, we are offering the advanced certificate in organic agribusiness management. And if they prefer to be get certified as an organic agribusiness practitioner, he has to go to this uh, six, another six month journey. Uh, the, sir, may I continue? Yes. yes. 
The evaluation of this course will be done by continuous assessments. The course is offered in NIBM Kurunagala campus because as you clearly mentioned, we are having a separate center there, Center for Agribusiness and Technology. To offer this course, we have been partnered with Lanka Organic Agriculture Movement and Sri Cert Certification Service. So these are the main objectives of this course. Uh, then organic agriculture, what is it? Organic agribusiness, what is it? Then we have also the Godakai chemistry movement. Hey, by Godakai, what is the question? That my my organic agribusiness. What is it? Organic agriculture, what is it? Movement, na hariya te dhanu magan na. What is it? My practical, what is it? My technical skills, ganna thana kna. Ito kada. Enna me ma apni me gappe kando na gatta. Apni me kosi ko. विशेष मार्गों को करागाने में नॉलेज चेकर ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीबेस्टेंस मैनेजमेंट के लिए का आवश्यक नॉलेज चेकर एवं गेम थियरेटिकल टेक्निकल स्किल्स में पार्टिसिपेंस लग रहा बाद इन्हें एवं गेम अब मैं के बाला को रुतवे ना वा में कोर्स का आवश्यक है ये हम बने ना ए सर्टिफिकेशन Personally certify उन्हें हम एक लांड पुलांग में किया ला इंडस्ट्री के प्रधान दांगल विशेष एम ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग वाले वितराकने में ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीबिजनेस सेक्टर के फूड प्रोसेसिंग सेक्टर के एग्रीकल्चर कंसल्टेंट ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीकल्चर कंसल्टेंट के नेक्वी दिए था ऑर्गेनिक एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन ऑफिसर के नेक्वी दिए था यह मत न तांग मुन ऑर्गेनिक सर्टिफिकेशन बॉडी एक का इंस्पेक्टर के नेक्वी दिए था वैध कराने एक लांड आवश्य है ना सुदस्सुख हम हदला देना था माय अपने मेक ओवर से के प्रदान में आरंभ होना बे। so these are the main outcomes of the program. So we hope at the end of the course, so the participants will earn a recognition and a respect as a professional organic agribusiness practitioner. And we hope that they will become a certified organic agribusiness entrepreneur. This is the program structure, as I earlier said. So in the first semester, we are going to offer the lectures. So we have developed six modules. And here you can see, under each module, there are sub-sessions. Uh, except the first module, all the other five modules will be uh, carrying two credits, will ultimately end up to 10 credits. And not only this coursework, to give the practical knowledge, to give the practical field and industry exposure, we have arranged 10 field exposure, exposure visits. So this is a very specific part because giving the knowledge is not enough. As Mr. Atula clearly said, we have to give the practical exposure. So we, are, we have arranged field visits and industry visits to organic firms and fertilizer manufacturing plants, food processing factories, Again, especially organic livestock farms and organic plantations and certification bodies and especially organic markets. Right. Then who will be going to deliver the lectures? That will be another question. Yes. To deliver the lectures and to handle the coursework and especially to guide the participants, we have a very uh, experienced and locally and internationally acclaimed uh, academic as well as industrial experts we have who have joined with us so uh, these are the two experts who have uh, who, who, whom we have um, uh, that means who who have joined with us to offer the first module introductory module and to offer the second module organic agriculture production and management we have seven academic and industry experts And for the third module, soil nutrient management and animal husbandry, we have again six well-experienced academic and industry experts join with us. And to offer the fourth module, organic supply chain management and agribusiness, we have again four uh, industry and academic experts. And for the fifth module, Organic Agriculture Policies, Regulation and Standards, again, we have uh, three industry and academic experts. And again, uh, for the final module, 
organic product processing, product harvest, and product development, we have three experienced academic and industry experts. That's about the lecture panel. So the successful participants at the end of this uh, first semester, they will be getting a certificate, as um, Dr. Kulasuri said, they will be getting a certificate which is named Advanced Certificate Course in Organic Agribusiness Management. But to certify as an organic agribusiness practitioner in Sri Lanka, the participants has to engage in their own, ag own organic agribusiness project for another six months. Uh, so this project can be done maybe in their own organization or maybe in the place where they are employed or else uh, sometimes you can choose uh, organic farm to implement your project or else sometimes it may be a piece of land you have chosen on your choice, maybe your home garden. So this project will be monitored and evaluated by a panel of experts in organic agriculture and um, the successful participants who go through this uh, six month uh, uh, training period or uh, practical um, project implementation. So when they are successful, they will be um, offered a title Certified Organic Agribusiness Practitioner by NIBM with the support of Lanka Organic Agriculture Movement, Sri Sat Certification and Certification Alliance in line with ISO IEC 17024 in 2012 standard. And the technical support and the guidance will be provided by International Federation of Organic Agriculture Movement and the affiliated experts. Then the next question will be who can apply to this course? So if you are a professional in agriculture and agribusinesses, or if you are an agriculture graduate, if you are an agriculture diploma holder, so this course, this professional course is for you. And also, if you have uh, get the uh, GZ advanced level qualification, and if you have more than one year experience in the relevant field, you can apply to this. Or else, if you have get the O level qualification with more than three years experience in the relevant field, you also can apply to this. And not only that, you may in a different field, not in agriculture, but if you are totally interested in organic agriculture, you can apply to this and your of um, admission offer will be decided by a panel of experts. So if you need any more information regarding this course, you can contact NIBM Kurnagal campus through this direct hotline, or else you can directly contact me, I'm Nimeshika, I'm the course director, and you can contact Mr. Tharindu, who is the course secretary, and you can also write to kurnagala at nibm.lk. Yeah, thank you very much. We presented the course nicely. I think all of the idea about uh, what the course is. So I would like to I mean, take this opportunity. Thanks, uh, Mr. Tilak Kariyavasam, the president of Ami Lanka Organic Movement, and Mr. Atula Priyantha for joining us. Uh, he's an expert in uh, organic agriculture and uh, he's the secretary to the Lanka Organic Movement. And uh, at the same time, I'd like to thank uh, Ms. Nimesika. She's the course director of this program. And all the I mean, staff members at NIBM who supported to make it a very successful webinar here at our digital operation unit. And I would like at the end, I must thank all I mean, participants and nearly 100 participants joined this uh, uh, first webinar of NIBM on organic agriculture. And our plan is to I mean, have a series of webinars in the uh, few months to come and to build up the knowledge in the field of organic agriculture not to discuss about whether this sub uh, this organic agriculture is good or bad or our intention is to i mean give the real body of knowledge on this and this is the future and this is how it goes the world and this is the lifestyle and the way of life of people so if it is the way of life of people is i mean role of nibm is to support them and make sure that they are going through this process in the years to come so thank you very much. Have a great night and I wish you all the best. And hopefully if you are having any questions, you can talk to us and we'll get more information.